step to Christ, the work and the life, and the effort to bless others where we act in blessings upon ourselves. This was the purpose of God in giving us a part to act in the plan of redemption. He has granted men the privilege of becoming partakers of the divine nature and, in their turn, of diffusing blessings to their fellow men. This is the highest honor, the greatest joy, that is possible for God to bestow upon men. Those who thus become participants in labors of love are brought nearest to their Creator. God might have committed the message of the Gospel and all the work of loving ministry to the heavenly angels. He might have employed other means for accomplishing His purpose. But in His infinite love, He chose to make us co-workers with Himself, with Christ and the angels, that we might share the blessing, the joy, the spiritual uplifting which results from the unselfish ministry. We are brought into sympathy with Christ through the fellowship of His sufferings. Every act of self-sacrifice for the good of others strengthens the spirit of beneficence in the giver's heart, allying him more closely to the Redeemer of the world, who was rich, yet for your sakes became poor, that ye, through his poverty, might be rich. 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9 and it is only as we thus fulfill the divine purpose in our creation that life can be a blessing to us. Step to Christ, page 79.